Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. Here today to tell you just a little bit about the drug metformin uh, and the side effects associated with this medication. First off, what, what is metformin? It's a medication that reduces liver production of glucose. It can also enhance glucose use by the muscles or glucose or blood sugar. The muscles can utilize that blood sugar a little bit better. It also decreases the absorption of glucose in the colon. It's considered very low risk for a low blood sugar or hypoglycemia just due to its action. Uh, if we do see low blood sugar, it's usually because somebody is taking another medication that has a blood sugar effect with this one. Some of the common US brand names are glucophage, Glucophage XR, Fortimet, and then it's available in several combination products as well. So what are the uses of metformin? The typical use is treatment of type 2 diabetes. That's used to be called adult onset diabetes. But there are also several off-label. Off-label simply means the medicine wasn't studied for this, but they found that it improves these conditions, so many prescribers feel comfortable using it for that. Uh, sometimes it's used to treat medication-induced weight loss or, or weight gain. There are several uh, medications that can cause weight gain. Uh, sometimes some of the medications used to help with mood uh, will cause some weight gain, and they've found that metformin can sometimes reduce that. Uh, they're finding it can prevent the onset of type 2 diabetes if you're pre-diabetic, uh, starting on metformin, may reduce the chance that you'll develop full-blown type 2 diabetes, gestational diabetes, or diabetes in a pregnant woman. Polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS, uh, found improvement with metformin use. There are also some interesting studies coming along, maybe cancer prevention. Uh, of course, diabetes does put one at risk, a higher risk for cancer and things like that. Uh, there are no definitive answer here, but it does seem like it may reduce the risk of certain types of cancers. Also, the risk of a heart attack and stroke in some studies looks like uh, it has been decreased on those who are taking metformin. And there are more. There are really um, a lot of interesting things they're finding out about long-term metformin use. So the dosage, what is the standard dose of metformin? Uh, first off, it's usually increased gradually due to the side effects of diarrhea and stomach upset. Typically started out at 500 milligrams a day. Then you're, uh, do, you know, this is up to your doctor, but they'll often increase it by 500 milligrams every week or so. The target dose for the most effect on diabetes is around 2000 milligrams a day, or that would be four of the 500 milligram tablets. Now, you may need to start over this titration or the slowly increasing the dose after you've missed doses, even for a few days. Some people just cannot tolerate the full dose and have to start over with a schedule of once a day for a week, one twice a day for a week, and so on. So some of the side effects, we did touch on uh, diarrhea, nausea, uh, some weakness, vomiting, flatulence, and some weight loss can occur. On a whole, we do see most people tolerate metformin really well, especially if they start off slow on the dose and work their way up. Uh, some people cannot tolerate the smell of metformin. Metformin has kind of an odor to the tablet. Sometimes the uh, XR form of the tablet can reduce the odor. Um, it was thought the XR form could sometimes uh, help with the stomach, and for some people it does, but the studies are mixed. It, uh, the XR certainly does reduce the odor, but may or may not help the stomach issues. Uh, some of the serious side effects is lactic acidosis. We'll touch on more of that in a minute. And liver toxicity as it works through the liver, uh, helps uh, reduces the glucose production or sugar production in the liver. And then other side effects, of course, can occur. So lactic acidosis is a serious adverse reaction. It can result in death. Symptoms are often difficult to identify. Sometimes it's muscle pain, uh, difficulty breathing, just extreme sleepiness and more. Some of the risk factors that put you at risk are impaired kidney function, use of contrast. In certain tests requiring you use contrast, 
they'll, they will take you off the metformin and they will not restart you until your kidneys are functioning properly again. Certain acute heart failure, simply your body is unable to clear it from the body properly, reduce liver function, and excessive consumption of alcohol can lead to lactic acidosis. Now this is extremely rare, but it is something we have to watch for. Your doctor will monitor for it. If you're ever not feeling right, you're taking metformin, you should contact your doctor right away. Make sure you're not experiencing a side effect from the medication. Um, some of the monitoring your doctor or your healthcare provider may do is A1C. That's just going to give an idea of how your blood sugar is doing. So they'll probably check that every three to six months. Kidney function, of course, because we don't want that lactic acidosis to occur. Now, they can still use kidney or metformin if you're having some kidney issues at a lower dose that will be something you and your doctor can chat about uh, cbc or complete blood count they're going to monitor that because occasionally we can see some anemia occur or some effect on the blood um, they may test for b12 and then they may have you supplement b12 and folic acid again it can sometimes have that effect on the blood and especially if you're on it long term we can see some b12 and folic acid deficiencies and your doctor of course may want to order more labs to monitor your therapy as well as your current health conditions some drug interactions um, medicines like beta blockers metoprolol propranolol they have a blood sugar lowering effect we often see them used together um, it, doesn't mean they can't be used together, just means that they should be monitored. Uh, cephalexin, an antibiotic, can also increase metformin level. Uh, cimetidine, it's an over-the-counter product called Tagamet, can increase the metformin level, increases risk of side effects. Again, these things can often be managed. It, just because there's an interaction doesn't mean they cannot be used together. Your doctor and you just need to be aware of the side effects and that it can often be managed. Quinolones, those are antibiotics like Cipro and Levaquin, that could increase blood sugar. Again, you can probably still use them at form and your blood sugar will just be uh, at higher levels for a while. And there are many more. Again, many of the drug interactions can be managed. It is something you can speak to your doctor and pharmacist about to make sure uh, just so you're aware and let your healthcare provider know right away if you seem to be having some issues. I do appreciate you watching this video. Feel free to ask questions in the comments. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. And remember, always talk to your healthcare provider if you think you're having side effects, you think you're having problems with your medication, you just don't feel right. Uh, the sooner we can identify those things, the uh, less likely it will have any permanent ramifications for you. And I'll have a summary of this at pharmacisttips.com slash metformin. Thank you for watching.